Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I got a little more information. So this is part two from the gentleman that's trying to make this 16-page booklet. And I'm still a little bit confused about what he's doing, but he wanted to know how to make a master page, and then he wanted to know how, like in a book, you know, the hold could be on the other side, so the printing could be on both sides of the book. And it's relatively easy. I'm not 100% sure that's what he's asking. But let's say this is going to be your cover. Okay? And all I did was make a duplicate of it and control V and put it on page 3. Or page 2, control V, put it on page 4. And then that way all your pages would be the same. Now as far as... And you'd want to do this before I guess you do this. So let's take this away. Let's take this away. And let's take this away. So page one is going to be his cover. Page two now is going to look like this with writing on it or with that A. Well, let's control V and put it on there. No, we can't yet. But to get to page three, what you're going to have to do is make a box, a rectangle that is... And the reason you have to do this so you can flip it eight and a half by 11 put P and put it in the center of the page grab both these and mirror it so now your holes are on the other one so page four will be right page five you're going to, have to do the same thing so let's go back to page three and we'll and it probably be easier just to well let me do this Let's just delete some pages. Just delete. I should have been ready. I'm sorry about this. Okay, so page three is going to be like that. Page two is going to be like that. So let's go control C and make a copy of that. I'm not sure if I hit control C. No, I didn't. I hit something else. Let's go control C. We'll make a duplicate of that and we'll add a page. And then we'll go control V. But page four needs to be the opposite. So we need to mirror it. Let's add a page, page five. We'll go and control V, but then we'll mirror it. So you're going to have to just keep doing that. Page 6, Control V, Control V, and then you're going to have to mirror that one. And just mirror every other page. Now, as far as numbering them, you don't want a page number on page 2, page 1. And I'm not sure how you can move the numbers, so I'm going to guess that they're going to... Um, maybe be in the center of the page this time. So we're going to go to layout and you could maybe the best way to go would be insert page numbers on even number pages. So let's make that font bigger so you can read it in the video. And so now that's page one, which is really page two. Page two is going to be like that. So page three, it's only going to give the page numbers on the ones that are facing left or right that I know of how to do. Uh, I'm sure you could just um, take that number, control C, make a duplicate of it, move it over here. Well, evidently, I, evidently when they're page number, you're going to just have to make that five. So that's Arial 72 points. Let's just go to text and let's make a six and let's make it aerial black 72 points. So there we have the six. So when you go to page five, which is really, and then let's add a page. Then you're just going to have to go and insert that page number. 
and you could get some sort of skew lines, you know, indexing lines to help you line it up. Go back to page five, uh, hit that, hit just the five, get the crosshairs of the indexing lines, bring your indexing lines to that crosshair, and then bring another indexing line out because when you do indexing lines they're going to be on all pages so let's go back to page six and then we could just bring that six up to that center page add a page and it's already done seven well let's add a page and see it's not going to do eight so let's go back to page seven six this isn't a page number so we can go control c go to page nine control v and we need to change it to nine. This is getting really confusing. I'm actually confusing myself. But now you're all your, well, it should have been eight, I guess. So you just click on your number and change it to eight with the text editor. And uh, so there we've got eight pages done. Your cover has no page. Now you can take this A. And what's so neat about this, control D for making a duplicate, pull it off the page. That A will stay there for all pages because it's off the page. So you could put it in A, put it in page two, go control C, put it in three, control V, and it's going to be in that same spot. Control V, you could just keep adding to it. If you wanted that same type uh, logo or whatever on every page. So now all our pages are numbered except for our cover. Page one, two, one, well, we didn't do three, but there's three, so we need two, and we would do it the same way we did the eight, just control, grab our eight, control D and make a duplicate. You can move it off to the side, go to page two now, turn this to two. This almost seems like it's going to be more trouble than it's worth. But once you got it set up, it would be pretty easy. And then you could just bring that to. And I'm sorry for all the laser people. This isn't going to help you very much. But any kind of thing you do inside of Corel Draw that you learn a little bit, uh, you might be able to grab something to it from it. Anyway, I hope that helped him.